Hello everyone, Warp here with my guide on Asylum Worker Uniforms. The Asylum Red Dress is the pride of everyone's collection. If you see somebody wearing this dress in an event, you can know the pride that they took in farming it for themselves. Now before you think about going out and buying or selling or trading it, why don't you consider grinding it for yourself so you can take some ownership in it. So this guide will cover everything that you need to know about getting your own Asylum Red Dress. All right, to get access to uh, the Asylum dresses, you come to Fort Defiance, and there are a few different ways that you can actually get in here. There is a quest that is part of the main storyline called Recruitment Blues, which will drastically make the things go quicker in here, because you'll have access to a door and an elevator that you can go right upstairs to. But anyhow, if you can, you can come here, even on your level 2 character, technically, and come in and make your way throughout the... The uh, Fort Defiance, and uh, you, when you go to the right, you can go upstairs to the second floor and open up a little power line uh, connector that'll open up a door downstairs. Then you make your way to the other side, kind of wiggle around a couple little spots here and there, and then you can wiggle your way up to the top to get access to the three beds that have the only chances to spawn the rare colors. So, without doing the quest, if you have a jetpack, you can cut out the running through the right side of the building by jumping through the hole in the ceiling and going directly to the power switch. And if you do complete the Recruitment Blues quest, you can walk right in. It takes you about 45 seconds from loading in outside all the way up to the dresses. Now that brings us to the fastest way, the awesome feature, the Daily Op Method. Alright, so once you've kind of established how you're going to get in there for the very first time, whether or not you've actually done Recruitment Blues Quest, or if you have a jetpack or don't have a jetpack, once you actually do check the beds and you get to there, that spot, you can now officially start using the Daily Op trick to speed up everything. So a feature of Daily Ops is once you enter a Daily Op, once you leave Daily Op, it'll put you exactly at the exact spot that you were when you entered. So while in Daily Ops, if you leave the server and join a new server, it'll pop you at, it'll put you right back onto that spot. Just make sure you're not in a team, because if you're in a team, when you leave server, sometimes it will pop you outside. All right, we're going to cover a very important piece of information that you have to understand and get this set in stone in your mind. There is a server side information here. Every server, even if it's public or if it is private server, knows exactly for that day the exact three dresses that it's going to have for spot A, B, and C. Nothing you can do can change what dress will pop up or anything. And if any person picks up any one of those three spots, it's done until tomorrow. You can't make it respawn after you pick it up. Nada. That is the server side information. The other side of the coin is the client side information, which is you. Every single person has a running total of 255 items that the game keeps track of. Otherwise, it would have been tens of thousands. So if you pick up a dress, if you don't go and pick up another 255 items, that spot where you picked up the dress, doesn't matter how many times you server hop, you will not see a dress at all there until tomorrow or until you pick up 255 items. And another side note, if you do that, if you do pick up a dress and you don't clear your loot table, every single time you load into another Fort Defiance, your client will tell the server that that dress is gone, thereby telling, making the server's list of those three possible things, that one is now gone for everybody. So make sure that if you are picking up dresses that you're going and clearing your loot table. All right, let's cover actually clearing your loot table. Let's say you do get a dress that you do want to keep and pick up. You can go and grab it. And what I personally do when I do pick up something there is I'll go pick up uh, the, the handful of stuff that I can get from inside there, such as the military ammo bags. And if you have access to the upstairs, you know, there's probably like 20 items or so that you can grab, plus a magazine spawn and a bobblehead spawn. Uh, but from there, the most bang for your buck that you can get for looting items is going to be at Summersville. Once you fast travel in, this house has about 280 burnt textbooks, plus like 100 plus other items. You can go here and quickly, quickly uh, clear your loot table. Now you can clear your loot table anywhere in the game. I do suggest if you have like a route of things that you go and farm regularly, you know, if there's some lead spots or if there's uh, other items that you go and grab, you can use this as the opportunity to go and do that, especially if you're gonna be doing it in a routine. All right, let's cover the really important aspect here, and that is the percentage of loot actually spawning. 
stuff like beer bottles or stuff that's common in the game, once you load in, it's pretty much 100% chance that if, if it's going to be there, it'll be there. Other special things, especially things that have a variety of different things that can spawn in that spot, will have different drop rates. So for each of the three spots upstairs, there's a 20% chance that when you load into the instance, any dress can spawn in that thing. And here's a list of the different actual percentage uh, drops that each spot will have a certain dress. Now, if you see, if you add up everything that it's in the blue list, it actually adds up to 20%, which is our 20% that we're going for. And we can actually manipulate that and basically load into the instance uh, multiple times to get the, the, the drop rates up to 100%, basically force everything to spawn. And uh, yeah, so essentially you can go downstairs to the front door, go outside, load back in, I always give it a few seconds just to make sure that the instance loads in, turn right around and load back in. And it doesn't, five times do not add up to 100%. I've had times where I went, I went in and out like three times when upstairs all the dresses were there. Sometimes I, I, it took me like 10 or 13 times for that one last pesky bed to actually spawn something. All right, now this does work on a public server, but remember the key thing that if anybody on the public server had picked up one of those dresses, no dress will spawn. There's nothing that you can do. You can't clear your loot table. Nothing you can do to make that server uh, put another dress out there for you. So if you do have access to a private server with Fallout First, the best way to guarantee that you're going to get all three dresses to spawn is to reset your private server. And this is done actually really simply. Once you go and you have the menu, you can click on create a custom world. As soon as it pops up that says building world, just click escape and then go back to that original menu and click on private world. And even if you're in a private world right now, it'll actually force a new one to load. And here you can just rinse and repeat. And uh, yeah, yeah, this will be the very best way to guarantee that A, no one's been on that server and all three dresses will be there. And B, just this is gonna be the best possible way for you. It does take a little bit longer because each server that you're on, you do have to force the dresses to spawn using the front door, but you'll know that no matter what, you're not wasting your time going to public servers over and over and over and trying to force ones that are never going to pop up. All right, everyone. Yeah, with the success of our last video, uh, I've been keeping track of everyone that comes and tells me that they got the red dress from the watching the video and the list is growing day by day. So make sure that you do click the link down below to join our Discord or you can just leave me a message here in the comment section and I can add you to our announcement page on our Discord. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this super helps you guys. Don't forget to click like and subscribe and click the notification bell for more of this stuff and click here for some more guides that help you in the wasteland.